Praise God, praise God. All right, guys, can you hear me now? Let me know that you can hear me now. Praise God, praise God. Let me know that you can hear me now, everybody. Hallelujah, hallelujah. We not we don't stop. We just keep on going. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah, we just keep on going. Let me know that you can hear me clear. Praise God. Somebody let me know that you can hear me clear now. Hallelujah, let me know. Write it, let me know. Praise God, hallelujah. Uh, we're not going to let it stop. Notice, notice, and I keep saying this on purpose. I repeat myself because I'm trying to get y'all to see something. Notice they don't do that to everybody. <laughs> anyway, let, let, I'll start all over because that's what I'm going to do. I had to get on my phone. It, it seems like, I don't know, it was just going in slow motion or whatever the case may be. So let me go ahead and reiterate, okay, what's going on. All right. So basically... What God was telling me is that y'all need to look at the movie Hunger Games, okay? Hunger Games. What is Hunger Games? Look at the movie because that's what's happening here. So what God was telling me this week while I was on, um, I guess, vacation, kind of just listening to him, letting him restore me. He was saying, Deanna, they use... And I'm, I'm not giving it power. Remember, a true prophet has power with their mouth. That C thing... They use that as a test run, God says, because what they tried to do is put us against each other. You saw people fight over toilet paper. You saw people fight over this, over that. Y'all better listen to what I'm saying. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. It's a movie called The Hunger Games. So now, you know, we, we didn't. Now they're kind of like pulling it back. They're kind of pulling it back. Right. But now here's what's going to happen. People are still hoarding. They're hoarding toilet paper. They're hoarding water. They're hoarding stuff because guess what? They understood what just happened. Y'all don't hear what I'm saying. You don't think these people know that? God say that this was a conditioning test. What is a conditioning test? We're going to see how they respond. Because when the real thing comes. Come on somebody. Y'all don't hear what I'm saying up in here. When the real thing comes. We know who's going to do what. Come on somebody. Hallelujah. I, I was uh, under. Whew, I got so much information. When I was just relaxing. God was talking to me. And I want y'all to Google everything that I'm saying. Do you know that your telephone and anytime you Google and everything tells people where you at, how many of you, when you have a conversation, all of a sudden in your timeline on your phone or even in your email, it'll come up what you was talking about. Google and Facebook are all run by the same people. So what they do is they listen to everything we're saying. Y'all better listen to what I'm saying. This is New World Order, point blank in the story. And God told me to tell y'all to warn y'all. Now, let me talk about the second part I was saying before they start chopping it up real bad. Plants. God said the first plant was Judas. You listen to what I'm saying? Judas was the first plant. What is a plant, apostle? Real women and men of God. I am not trying to get you to be in fear or, you know, don't like people. But you better test everybody by the spirit. I'm talking about relatives. I don't care who they are. Let me tell you what's happening in this hour in case you don't know. They are paying people to watch you. Especially if you're a true Christian. Oh, come on, somebody. That's what Judas did. Judas, Judas was never really a fan of Jesus. He just liked the benefits of Jesus. Oh, come on, somebody. Y'all don't hear what I'm saying. That's what he liked. That's why. And Jesus knew it. Jesus knew it. Jesus said, but I'm going to use that. I'm going to use that because he going to help me do what I got to do. Y'all don't hear what I'm saying. So for that 30 pieces of silver, that was the first plant. G Judas was the first plant. Y'all don't hear what I'm saying. So they did it to Jesus. And you know we're not Jesus. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Y'all don't hear what I'm saying up in here, huh? Let me make it a little plain. While I was resting, I still had to go to the store. And I'm about to make it real plain. I didn't know I was going to do all this. I thought I was going to just talk about that. But apparently he want me to tell it all. And I'm going to tell it all. I know I'm being watched. I know. I mean, you can't help it because they ain't buying nothing in the store. And they looking at me all in my face crazy. Y'all don't hear what I'm saying. One girl, she was so intimidating or trying to be until I looked at her like, what's up? What we doing? Because if you touch me, yes, I'm an apostle. I'm, I'm sorry, y'all. I'm raw and uncut. I love the Lord, but I ain't gonna let nobody hurt me. That's how intense it got in that store that day. So don't tell me they're not paying them people to do what they're doing because I don't know those people. Y'all don't hear what I'm saying. So I came on, I started praying. I said, God, he said, they're trying to intensify because things are going to the next level. You don't hear what I'm saying. 
And, and they're not buying nothing in the stores. They're just walking around. And you can't you can't help it because they're looking at you. What you doing? Who you talking to? Y'all don't hear what I'm saying. Had one young boy. Oh, I'm, I'm letting it all hang out tonight because y'all need to know the truth. I, I get, y'all you know, know I do my businesses. So I was getting something from UPS. The little guy in his little red car couldn't help but see him. A nice big camera just took a picture. Ching. Right? I heard the girl in the passenger seat. She saw you. He said, I don't give a blank. I hope this young man get this video. You should be very scared because you don't know who I am. Spiritually and naturally. Y'all sitting up there playing these games. Y'all don't know what people doing. And y'all just taking it. Uh, y'all doing stuff for 30 40 $50. Just like Jesus did. Yeah, I say what I say. Plants. Don't know whose side you're on. <laughs> oh, I'm, a, I'm, I'm about to cut it tonight. I'm about to cut it tonight. The old proverb used to say, me today and you tomorrow. Let me tell y'all something, plants. They're using you. If you think the elite love you, they're using you against your brother and your sister. Come on, somebody, hallelujah, for some money. And then me today, you tomorrow. <laughs> you don't understand what I'm saying? What they do to me, they're going to do to you too. <laughs> Come on, somebody, hallelujah. But that's what they want. So they got everybody, everybody against each other. Y'all don't understand what I'm saying in this hour. You better listen to what I'm saying. So they, 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 I know they did this. They made this. And I don't care what y'all say because guess what? It's attacking mostly black people. I'm not saying other races is not touching, but it's touching mostly us. Oh, come on, somebody. Y'all better understand what I'm saying up in here. God told me this ain't nothing but a plan. Because they're not playing. Let me tell you something. They want to not only depopulate. They want to destroy us. They want and they're going to get a new world order. But hold on. Excuse me. I got some good news for y'all. While I was recuperating. God said that's why I need an army. He said my remnant. He said my powerful remnant. Come on somebody. He said those that are known and appointed. Going to push them back in this hour. Going to push them back in this hour. Going to push them back in this hour. You see you should be afraid young man. Because I'm anointed and appointed. What? And, and I'm going in all out tonight. What I know of. And I'm not trying to. Hold on. Before I make this statement. I hope y'all understand what this statement is. Don't be trying to turn it around. Three people I know died playing with me. What? Three. I don't know about any more. I'm sure you can't come against a man or woman of God and don't think God won't touch you. I'm just letting you know. So you keep that little money, honey, and you do what you do. But I'm just telling you, that's your warning. Y'all plants don't understand. Matthew 6, 33. But seek ye first the kingdom of God and all his righteousness. But they got y'all scared. And y'all doing anything for a dollar. But God told me to tell you. Hallelujah. Be careful. All money ain't good money. Come on, somebody. I don't play. I tell it like a T.I. is. And all I, I don't even know these people. But it, 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 it's never been this intense. And I've been many a place. Y'all know California, New York. I don't know what they, but you know, Louisiana is a poverty mentality state. Now, I got to say this too. I was surprised at one plant because she's a Christian. And, and and look, she couldn't even look at me because she knew I had caught her, right? So we in the store, and so I backtracked, right? And, and Dad was with me, and Dad said, what's going on? I said, I'm just checking out something. She wouldn't even look at me. And I look, I said, God, no, not a Christian. You taking that money too? Disclaimer, Apostle Deanna Dixon ain't doing nothing illegal. They got two files. I got a school, y'all young people, some of y'all old people too. The FBI got two files on all of us. I learned that by studying Martin Luther King, Dr. Martin Luther King. They got two files on us. They got the real file that we did everything and the fake file to make y'all do what y'all doing. Yeah, I see what I see. Woo, I'm sorry. I didn't know God was going to do it like this. But let's backtrack to the beginning of the video. They want us against each other. They want y'all the hard stuff. They want y'all not to believe in Jesus Christ. They want y'all to fear. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Stop acting like that. Stop acting like that. Your brother is not your enemy. Your sister is not your enemy. God will show you your enemy. And tell you, be honest with you, God will say, I'll be a friend to your friend and an enemy to your enemies. Oh, I'm about to decree and declare something. And yes, I am. Because I, I, y'all know how I am. When I get hit, I get more lit. The Bible says, suffer not a witch or what I like to live, right? Y'all going to start falling down, they, all of y'all doing what y'all doing. And I'm talking about in the whole wide world. 
messing with Christians because God is not having it. God is not having it. God told me to tell y'all, don't be afraid because here's the deal. The enemy is trying to apply pressure as if he's God. God said he's trying to apply pressure as if he's God. You are not God, Satan. Hallelujah. You might be the God of this liberated world, but I know a bigger God. I know a God that can make you back back and give him 50 feet. God said, know who your God is. He's the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Hallelujah to his name. Y'all better stop acting scared of these people. Hallelujah. And stop back and scared of this. See whatever. Because guess what? Worse is coming, saying God. God said famine is coming. Pestilence is coming. Murder is coming. Why do you think the Caucasian people, y'all buying toilet paper, they're buying ammo. Y'all don't see what time it is. World War Three coming. All kind of stuff coming. That's not how we're going to do it. Let me tell you how God said we're going to do it. By prayers. Oh, hallelujah. Y'all don't hear me. I'm reminded of Moses and that staff. He didn't have no gun. He didn't have no weapon. He had a staff. Hallelujah. Y'all don't hear what I'm saying. Your mouth will be able to speak it. Your hands will be able to take it. You don't hear what I'm saying. The power of God is still real. The power of God is still real. The power of God is still real, God told me to tell you. And, 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 and I, since I'm on one, in this season, y'all putting your mouth on men and women of God. Y'all better stop that. <laughs> You're going to get stuck. You're going to get stuck. <laughs> You're going to be able to talk. You're going to get stuck. God said, I'm fighting for my people. Let me tell you something. And I'm about to get off off of here. I'm 50 years old. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> but one thing I never did was play with God. See, this generation have no fear of God. That's why y'all do what y'all do. I'm talking about the younger generation and some old people too. But when you know who God is, it's a, the Bible said it's a dangerous and a fearful thing to fall in the hand of the living God. When you know that, you don't play with God. You don't play with God because you know what he can do and how he can do it. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You know what I'm saying? So reiterate what I said in this video. Y'all plants, y'all better stop letting people pimp you because they're going to kill you in a little bit. you just a pawn. you just a pawn. They're going to use you for that little 20 dollars $60, maybe $100. <laughs> i am just being real with you. Look at the movie Hunger Games. This was a test run, God says. This was a test run. And I don't know if y'all realize what's happening, too. They had a lot of um, stories about this part. Where people are dying, and they put that they died of the sea thing. When it really wasn't that. And they're not changing it. And some family members are mad. So y'all understand what's happening? Woo! I'm telling you. The enemy is crazy. But God said, I got some people. And I, I am God. You have to remember that God is God in this hour. Stop fearing and get ready. Fast, pray, and obey, God says. We are soldiers. That's what we do. That's what we do. You know what I, I did today? I went walking. I'm about to, dad brought me a slim cycle. I'm about to get on that slim cycle. Because one thing I said, we came in power. That's what God said, actually, but I said too. God said the church came in power and we going out in power. Warriors of God, because that's what I'm going to call y'all. Y'all not just soldiers, but y'all warriors. You better get ready, because we're in war. And you could take it how you want to take it. we in war. And what you do in war, you do two things. You could play day, or you could fight. i, I never been one to play day. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. You don't hear what I'm saying? So that's all God told me to tell y'all. And you right, Leonard. The prayers of the righteous develop much. That's what God was telling me. God said, Deanna, you ain't got to fight nobody. Y'all y'all know. Hey, look, I love the Lord, but you know, I ain't going to let nobody just touch me. Y'all know that, right? But we don't have to go to, that far. I've seen God do some things with my own eyes. I'm not lying. I've seen the power of God back people up. Back them up. And that's what God said. The enemy is trying to teach us to fight like they fight. Ooh, come on, somebody. You better understand what I'm saying. They fight corner. Ours is spiritual. Hallelujah. Don't put down your spiritual weapons for corner because you're not going to win. I'm telling you what God say. That's right. We live in power. We walk in power. We talk in power. We are in power. Power of the Holy Ghost. He says in Luke 10, 19, I've given you power over the enemy. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. 
Well, all right, I'm not going to keep you long. God bless you. God keep you. I just came on here to tell you what thus said the Lord and encourage you. We got to stay strong in this hour. And, and you got to stay prayed up. Pray over your towns. Pray over your cities. Pray over your houses. Pray over your possessions. Pray. Because I'm telling you, the enemy has been unleashed and God has allowed it. You know, one of my students was asking me, they said, Apostle, I'm reading Revelation. And the Bible says that he was locked up for a thousand years. And I took it to a scripture. I said, wait a minute. What does the Lord say about a day? A day is as a thousand years. Y'all don't see that the enemy has been unleashed? Y'all don't see that? Y'all don't see what's going on? And God is allowing it. Oh, but don't, don't you dare fret and don't lose faith. Because I'm telling you, the power of God is still real. If you think God's going to let it go down like this, then you are definitely mistaken. God is waiting for us to raise up. Let me tell you what time it is, and I'm going to get up off of here. Satan is raising up his army. And, and that's another thing she said. She said, some people really serve Satan. Y'all, what part y'all don't understand? I, I got to say this part. Two-thirds of the angel was kicked out of heaven with him. What are you talking about? And they need a host. What's a host? A body. Just like we serve God, they serve Satan. The rulers of this world serve Satan. I don't know what part y'all not understanding. And they have people in every profession and in every viable position that you can think of. So now the line is being drawn in the sand. Whose side you on, says the Lord. Come on, somebody. Because you see, I ain't going to lie. Back in the day, we could play both sides. Y'all know it's the truth. You know, I'm not really a bad person, but I'm going to do a little dirt. Uh-uh. God is drawing the line. Who side are you on? Or better yet, how about this? And I'm in it with this. I, 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 wish I, I wish I had two tablets like Moses. If you be for God, then come over here. But if not, then perish. Because that's what's going to happen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You think it's a game? So God bless you. God keep you two third or one third, girl. Don't make me have to go and research that. She said two. I'm thinking it's two thirds, but hold on, because since you didn't say that, I can't leave off of here not um telling the right information. So hold on, baby. I think it's two thirds though, two thirds of the angels. Hold on, you got now. You got me doing this. Hold, hold on. One third. You one you're right, baby. One third. Well, excuse me. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. All I know is we we have to be strong in the Lord. This is the time. Please stop playing. Please stop playing. People are dying. Um, there's so much wickedness being plotted. And what God told me to tell y'all is count the cost. Stop choosing money over God. Stop doing that. God says I've never seen the righteous forsaken or his seed begging bread. Trust God. You don't have to manipulate. You ain't got to, you know, um, do what you do, all this other stuff. You ain't got to do all that, God says. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. So, praise God, praise God. I love you all through Jesus Christ of Nazareth. It is nice to be back, you guys. Hallelujah. Y'all know what time it is. Roll out soldiers, for that is truly who we are. God bless.